A former Navy sailor is seeking justice by suing the Barack Obama administration, claiming that Hillary Clinton was treated better than he was. Christian Saucier famously is accused of mishandling classified information, just like the former Secretary of State. He joined us on Fox and Friends right after receiving that pardon from President Trump. It's unfortunate that a, a one prosecutor and a couple FBI agents really just destroyed my life for for no reason. It was a clear attempt by the Department of Justice, you know, under Obama to use me as a scapegoat to uh, take the heat off Hillary Clinton for mishandling classified information. Well, his attorney, Ronald Daigle, is joining us right now from Albany. Ron, good morning to you. Good morning. Thanks for having me. OK, so what's your case? Our case is going to be pretty straightforward. We're going to highlight uh, how Chris Saucier was treated as a common man right. and as a politically motivated uh, prosecution. We're going to show how Chris was treated, and then we're going to compare it to the IG's report when that comes out. We're hoping that's going to be exhibit number one, that uh, here you go, here's how Hillary Clinton was treated, and we seem to have a two-tier system of justice here uh, that occurred under President Obama and under Comey and under Loretta Lynch. Okay, and so you would like to call them all into court. You've already sent something to the Department of Justice um, back in January, and how did they respond? They responded with a letter basically saying that uh, they were not interested in discussing the matter with us. We sent a letter saying, you know, we'd like to sit down and talk right. about the matter, the lawsuit or the pending lawsuit, and, and they said no, they would not discuss the matter. Well, Ron, if I was the Department of Justice, I wouldn't want to talk about it either, because they look terrible. <laughs> yeah, I think, I think it's true that they do look terrible, and I'm hoping that we can go before uh, Senate committee in front of uh, Senator Grassley and maybe testify as to what my client went through and how mm -hmm. he was treated and how he was prosecuted. And then they can take this Inspector General's report and they can look at it and, and see how that was handled. Sure. And I think you're going to see such a disparity that it's going to be blatant. And uh, my client, you know, we if we can see sure. that they're going to seek justice in this report and this report is handled well, then we have no lawsuit. We don't want that. We don't want money. Right. We want justice. We want them to restore. The president is trying to restore our faith in the justice right. system. And that's really what we want the Department of Justice to do. So you're naming the Department of Justice, James Comey. President Obama, among others, if uh, if uh, President Obama were in court and you were deposing him or talking to cross examining cross examining him, Ron, what would you ask him? Well, it would be the famous questions of uh, what did you know and when did you know it? I mean, how much influence did you have over my client's case, and uh, and how much influence did Loretta Lynch and James Comey have over my client's case? Why did they decide to make? him a shining example of what they were going to do and then turn around and, and change the law and let Hillary Clinton go yeah. because they said she didn't have intent Because my client. Right. It, it just looks like when you put the two cases side by side and just the fact that he had, he had a sub background of a submarine behind him in an innocuous photograph, he went to prison. She had top secrets on a laptop and she skated. Boy, that's true and well-spoken. That's exactly what our case is going to be about. All right. Well, we famously know this story uh, too well. Ronald Daigle, uh, Chris Saucier's attorney. Sir, thank you very much for joining us today from upstate New York.